two weeks ago, Dylan O'Donnell released a video called Sharing Your Astro in Real Time with Lightbucket. First of all, amazing video as always, funny, so absolutely recommend watching it. I put the link in the description below. And on the other side, Dylan had an amazing discovery of Lightbucket, a tool where within Nina, you can actually share your exposures in real time while you're shooting with the world. And on the other side, also can see what the world is shooting. So great find. I immediately installed it and I really love it. But I found something even cooler in Lightbucket, which Dylan has not yet discovered. So I want to show you that in this video. Let's first of all go into Nina and see how we install Lightbucket. So as you can see at the moment, I'm shooting. I do a mosaic of the flame nebula and the horsehead nebula. And so this is actually at the moment broadcasted by Lightbucket. So where does it sit? If you go into plugins here, then you actually see it here. As with any plugin, you can go into Available, choose your plugin, say Install, then usually you have to restart Nina, and then you find it in the Installed ones. Once you install it, you have to click on this link here, open an account in Lightbucket, and this will give you at the end this API key. So then you go back here in Nina, and then to hear your API key, ensure that this here is on, and that's all you have to do. And from that moment on, Lightbucket is running. With that, let's go now to Chrome and have a look how Lightbucket looks on the browser side. So the first cool part here is a map where you see within the last 18 hours where everybody was shooting. So around here is Orion and you see there's an awful lot of people like me who shoot here at the moment. If we go further down, we see now exactly for each account what they're shooting presently. It's very present, less than a minute, less than a minute. We see their RMS, so the guiding error. We see how much they're shooting and their last image. And you also can see the guiding errors. But this is actually already what Dylan has shown. So here I show you nothing new. But there's one crucial part which Dylan has not yet discovered, as it seems. You can go here on your own shooting on monitor. And what I get now is, for my present shooting, the guiding error, the HFR, stars, mean, and median. And by the way, this here is a filter change, here is the optolong, and here is the antlia. So that's expected. But the cool part about this is that this is also running on an iPhone, on a mobile browser. So I can take that with me. I can shoot on my terrace and then i go somewhere and i can see live how the picture looks like and also if there's any problem with what i'm shooting so that in the emergency i could go home and correct it or even at home sometimes it's much more comfortable instead of always carrying a notebook with you to actually have the remote connection to nina to just look at your cell phone from time to time is everything okay and as long as everything goes sideways, nothing goes extremely up or down, I know that I'm fine. So this is really the absolute cool feature, much cooler than the sharing, that I personally can utilize that for monitoring my shooting. And there's something else which is more in the area of gamification. If I go on my account, I see how many targets, how many sessions, how many images and how many hours I have recorded. And I have that here also by month. And yes, we just discovered that tool. I think it is relatively new. And so it's my first month. But with time, it will be very interesting to see how many hours I really get to shoot each month and also to compare it then year by year to see if they're real weather patterns, if they're months where you cannot shoot at all, or if it's more situational year by year it changes. So I will be very thrilled to see that. And also down here, you see your targets listed and here also your sessions. And so sometimes this is even a good reminder if you have already forgotten these numbers that you can still look it up, how many exposures with how much time I, I actually did. So that is it already, short and sweet. And if you're interested in what I'm shooting at the moment, 
I put the link in the description below and you can follow me. See you next time and clear skies. Thank you.